Hi guys, I hope you're all keeping well and safe. Welcome to LES Matters TV. On this channel, we focus on everything early childhood related. And if these are the kind of videos you're looking for, what you have to do, subscribe. And not just subscribe, turn on that notification bell so that whenever a new video is being dropped on this channel, you'll be the first person to be notified. Today, I'm going to be talking about what is inclusion in the early childhood classroom. Are you an early childhood educator, an emergent early childhood educator, pondering on what is inclusion in the early childhood classroom? Don't go anywhere. So what is inclusion? Inclusion is ensuring that all children, regardless of their background, their race, their gender, their ability, have equal opportunities in an environment where they feel safe, valued, and respected. Yes, I know this is unfold. Don't worry, I'm going to break it down. So what is inclusion in the early childhood classroom again? So inclusion in the early childhood classroom is ensuring all children, regardless of be it their gender, their race, their background, their ability that they feel safe they have equal opportunity in an environment where they feel safe they feel valued and respected you need to understand that in the era of early childhood young children need to feel val valued and respected yes when you're doing this you're ensuring an inclusive early childhood classroom I want you to think outside the box. Now, let's really break it down in relation to what inclusion in the early childhood classroom is all about. So you need to start seeing beyond color because I know most of the time when people hear the word inclusion, they think it just has to do with color or race. No, it's beyond color or race. So when we talk about inclusion in the early childhood classroom, is ensuring all children in your early childhood classroom, regardless of their gender, regardless of their background, regardless of their ability, regardless of their strength, we sure that these children have equal opportunity in an environment where they feel safe, valued, and respected. Yes, this is important. Now, let's really break it down. For instance, if you have a child in your early childhood classroom that is on wheelchair, so the child has a disability, the child is on a wheelchair. Does it mean because the child is on a wheelchair, they are not going to have equal access? This is where inclusion comes in. In relation to inclusion concerning the child that is on wheelchair, but to adapt your early child classroom so that this child will not be left behind. This has to do with thinking. You're thinking you have five children in your classroom. You have one child is on a wheelchair and maybe tomorrow they are going to be painting. So are you going to say, okay, because this child is on the wheelchair, the child can't paint on the same table that other children is going to paint. So this is where adaptability comes into play. So what are you going to do to add the environment to suit the needs of this child? You don't want to leave this child behind. You don't want this child to feel inferior to others, thinking, yes, this is wheelchair. I can't paint on the same table that my friends are painting. So this is what inclusion is all about. Inclusion in relation to background as well. You're not going to say, oh, because this is from a particular background, you want to disassociate from them. You don't want to have anything to do with them. No. In relation to inclusion, you're embracing everyone. Inclusion is all about embracing all the children, irrespective of their gender, irrespective of their background, irrespective of their ability, irrespective of their strength, irrespective of what they can do or what they cannot do. So you're ensuring that the environment is safe for these children. You want the children to arrive in the morning, Monday to Friday, every morning they come into your classroom, they don't feel left behind. They are not feeling inferior. And you need to understand that in the era of early childhood, young children pick up on this. They will be able to use their words yet, but they pick, pick up on what's going on in their environment. They might not be able to vocalize this, but they see things. You need to understand that early childhood is like planting a seed. So this group of children absorb whatever is going on in their environment. If they're being left behind, maybe because they have a disability or be from a particular background, a particular socioeconomic background, if they feel that they are being left behind, this is going to affect them in times of their self-esteem. So I'm going to charge you today as a leader after watching this video go visit your early childhood classroom are you practicing or are you promoting inclusion this is what you have to think about are there some things that you need to adapt are there some things that you're going to change in your early childhood classroom to ensure that no child is being left behind so please ponder on this and do have a lovely day and do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not yet subscribed if you're looking for more of a video like this please kindly subscribe and not just subscribe turn on that notification 
notification bell so that whenever a new video is being dropped on this channel, you'll be the first person to be notified. And until I come your way next time, stay safe and mind yourselves for now. Bye.